One of the best things I love about the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG is every booster box that comes out, every celebration box that they have going on every single year. This year, we have the Magnificent Mavens Holiday Box. Each mini box contains about 70 card sleeves per box, got some reprints in there, higher rarity prints, and some new cards, and the ever so elusive Pharaoh Rare. Are we gonna pull it? Let's see what we got. Okay, so today for you guys, I do have a box of Magnificent Mavens right here, a full display, which is five mini boxes per display. So we'll get this open and we'll see what we got. So there we are. I don't know if you guys can see right in there. We have five mini boxes. Let's go ahead and get open with, let's, let's go ahead and get started with the first box. Now, like I said, every one has 70 cards sleeves in them so i'm very excited to see exactly what we have for the sleeves so every single mini box comes with four packs four packs yield five cards all in the ultra rarity and a chance to get a millennium slash pharaoh rare that we saw in king's court with the egyptian gods our first sleeves are sky striker ace kagari which i love sky striker sleeves if i can get the mobilized one i can get like a few if i'm plussing on sky striker cards in this video then i'm just i'm just that's just gonna be great for me all right, so let's begin with the first pack. Sorry, I'm a bit nervous. It's been a while since I've done this. We have the Iris Sword Soul first. Last Held by Destiny, Legendary Ocean. Stry Sky Striker Ace Kagari, love to see it. And Hajun, the Winged Mayakashi. Like I said, anytime I'm pulling Sky Striker cards, your boy is plussing. If I can get Linkage, the new Hamp card, even Aelion. I'd be cool with that. Second one. Ooh, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. You know, I was kind of... I was going to kind of be nervous if I wasn't able to pull this card specifically. Just because I saw a lot of videos and a lot, not a lot of people were pulling the Abyss Dragon. Aside from TSX1 and I think Ruxin. So give those guys a watch. The Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon. Witchcrafter Confusion Confession. Onibimaru Soul Sweeper. A nice ultra rarity. Secret Village of the Spellcasters, which I'm going to be running my Dark Magician deck. I actually wanted to pull this. Nightmare Cerberus. All right, because I know I've had Nightmare Phoenix from the... Oh, what was it? I think I got it from Random Pack, but it was a rare. It'll be nice to see if we could pull these guys in the Ultra Rarity. Okay, I kind of toned down the brightness a bit just because the cards were kind of kind of getting a little washed here. So we had Dragon Necro Nether Soul Dragon. Kelbeck, the Ancient Vanguard. One of the new issues. Ishizu supports for uh, tier elements. Foolish Return. Love to see this one. Guy Striker Ace Ray. Now, fun thing about Ray, OTS Pack 20 for the tournament packs just came out, and Sky Striker Ray actually has a ultimate rare, the most expensive ultimate rare in the pack. So if you guys are participating in your local tournaments, let me know if you pulled one down in the comments down below. Got Witchcrafter Hain. On to the next pack or the final pack of this mini box I should say. Ooh, it's been a minute since I've opened cards. Let's not damage them, shall we? Ooh, Appaloosa. I'm very happy to get Appaloosa. Ever since I saw the alternate art in this set, I'm like, please let me get her. So we got Appaloosa. Nice. New Witchcrafter fusion. I don't think this is new. I'm not sure about Witchcrafters. So if you guys play Witchcrafters, is this a new fusion? Old one? Let me know. Witchcrafter Vice Madame. Red a plant. Nice Sky Striker Ace Hayate. Always gotta have the Hayate. A Chaos Hunter. All right. On to our second box of five. And if you guys have picked up Magnificent Mavens, or are you guys liking the set? Ooh, these. Yeah, these are Mayakashi sleeves. Okay. All right. I will say, best part about this is the sleeves. Like, as you know, every every booster set, every, like, card set, it's got to have the cards, got to have the rarities, but I'm hyped about the sleeves. All right, let's get into it. Yadagarasu. Okay, I recently got... Oh, I say recent, but since the ban list has been removed, so... Hey, it's nice to see Yada Prince again. There it is, the Sky Striker Mobilized Linkage. I've waited for this card. I've read how it is. I love it. Absolutely, I'm excited that I pulled it. Nice. Moving on to Light Imprisoning Mirror. Dragon made change over. Next one is Mayakashi Return. Now let's go into the second pack. I'm hoping to get some of the reprint staples, you know? Like a Lightning Storm. Change of Heart. Okay. All right. This too got removed from the ban list. So nice to see Change of Heart here. Agito the Ancient Sentinel. So another one of the Ishizu ones. DD Savant Kepler. Vampire's Curse. 
instant fusion. All right. What I'm hoping to see from this, again, is Surgical Striker Hamp. Maybe a skill drain here or there. A Lightning Storm would be really nice. And Imperms. I'm missing quite a few of them, but, you know, it's okay if I don't pull the skill drains because that's actually becoming a common print in, um, in the new Dark World structure deck that's coming out. We have Totally Awesome. It's a good thing that this guy had another print. Love to see it. Gravekeeper's Trap. Okay, we're getting... We're plusing on the Shizu stuff. Okay. Maybe I might consider getting Tailaments. Oh, yes. Thank God. I've won... I'm a hero player. You guys know this. I wanted to pull Dark Calling. Now, if I get a hero lives, I'm going to be straight happy about this. A Dark Calling and Ultra Rare print. This is his first Ultra Rare printing because it only had, like, rare... And, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. Rares and... Not sure if it has super rare foil print. I'm not entirely certain, but I will take Dark Calling. 100%. Elder Entity Entis. And another Chaos Hunter. Last pack of the second box. This isn't bad. This is not a bad opening so far. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to get a Pharaoh's... Ra Ooh, Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. Okay. Like I was saying, I'm not sure if I'm going to get a Pharaoh's Rare in a display, but I don't really mind. Yes! All right, Surgical, Surgical Striker, Hamp. Love it. The Kaiju for Sky Strikers. Again, hoping I was going to pull it. And we did. Sword Soul Blackout. Dark Soul Token. There we go. A Hero Lives. God, am I just willing this stuff into existence right now? Like, I uh, just said, with Dark Calling, I would love a Hero Lives. And then, bam. This box is like, I got you. Also, shout out to my local card shop at Most Excellent Gaming. Those guys are awesome. He always chooses the boxes for me because I'm 100% I'm, I'm certain I got a little bit of bad luck going on, so I never choose my packs. And so, shout outs to him with my Akashi sleeves. Nice. So, so, we got two Mayakashis and one Sky Striker. I love the fact that I got the Kagaris. I just need to get the Mobilize and I'll be happy. And we got two boxes left after this. So, we'll see what we can do. Now, are you guys going to be hunting any specific... Ooh, there it is. Infinite Impermanence. Yes. Love to see it. Absolutely. Thank God. Yukiona the Icicle Mayakashi. Okay. Well, I was going to ask, are you guys going to be hunting this set? Is there anything you're specifically building aside from the, uh, you know, Shizu stuff? If you need... If you're looking for play sets of all of them, let me know down in the comment section down below what you're going to be doing. Hey, another Sky Striker Mecha Modules multi roll. Besides that, we got some Sword Soul stuff. I'm surprised I'm not pulling more of the Sword Soul stuff, considering most of the entire... most Mostly, if not the entire core is in there. Infinite Permanence. Skill Drain. I'm just pulling at least... If I get one of each, I'm okay with that. I don't need play sets. I'm good with one of each. Sky Striker Zeke. Shadow Imprisoning Mirror. So we got Light and Shadow. Anti-Spell Fragrance. And Metal Reflect Slime. Okay. This... This box is amazing. I'm not... I'm rarely seeing any duplicates, which is nice. Hey, Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. All right. There it is. Witchcrafter of Vice, Madame. DD Savant Kefler. Or Kepler, not Kefler. Instant Fusion. Riliona, the Magistus of Ver. I'm liking the variety, and I think Konami said that they're trying... Hard, they're at least trying to get the, uh, the variety of it. And not, we're not saying cards that I mean, like, short printed or, like... Cri Double Appaloosa. Okay. Absolutely. Ghost meets girl. A masterful, a master from Mayakashi. Sure, I knew I saga. I, I could not, I could not understand how to say that, but nice. Therion Duke. Ooh. Hey, there's Chen Ying. I was wondering when I'd see you again. And a Mizuki. All right, second to last box. Do you think? What, what do you think the sleeves are gonna be before I pull it out? You think it's gonna be another Sky Striker one? I'm hoping so. Listen, if I can't call them, what am I doing with my life? Mobilize. So we have two Mayakashi and two Sky Strikers. Can we end it on potentially getting one of the Witchcrafter sleeves? I would love to see that. All right. Galaxy Eyes, Galaxy Eyes after Glow Dragon. All right. Cool, cool. Another Sky Striker, Zeke. Another Foolish Return. Another Riliona. There we go. Just wait until I pull the mobilize engage. Again, the variety of this is just too good. I'm happy with it. I am pleased with this. 
Boral Sword Dragon. Another Yukiona. A Legendary Ocean. Sword Soul Sacred Summit. And a G Golem Token. Now, if I could pull the Sky Striker Token, your boy would be, like, complete here. But I got the Surgical Strikers. I think I'm missing one other. The Iris Sword Soul. Another Sky Striker Mobilized Linkage. Nice. Onibimaru, Sword Sweeper. Mayakashi Return. And a Vampire's Curse. Alright, last pack of this box. We have one more box after this. Another Change of Heart. Now, I thought Change of Heart had a Feral Rare printing, but who knows if we'll pull it. Did I get a Keldo before? I'll have to search through and see. Ooh, a Draco back, the Rideable Dragon for the Adventure Package. I had two rares, but it's good to see me pull the, at least the, uh, the Ultra Rare print now. Daki, the Graceful Mayakashi, and another Hayate. I guess I'm missing a Shizuku. I think that's what I'm missing. I have my Kagaris, I have my Hayates, now I'm just missing my Shizukus. Last box, grant me that. What are our sleeves gonna be? Hey, there they are, Witchcrafters. So to reiterate, two Sky Strikers, two Mayakashis, and one Witchcrafter. Overall, not a bad box. Because I think my main fear was within five boxes, what is the variety of card sleeves, you know? Last four packs. Let's tap them to wake them up, huh? A trick is old as time when opening packs, right? Yeah, and we woke it up with an infant and a permanence, all right. A third Sky Striker Zeke. A second Draco back. Ooh. Gasha Dokoru, the Skeletal Mayakashi. And Dragon Maid Changeover. I don't think I've gotten anything more than three of of a card. Which the what that just screams variety, you know? Sword Soul of Moye. A third Surgical Striker Hamp. I'll take that. Another Preta Plant. Shark Oh, that's right. I'm missing Shark Cannon and Widow Anchor. Well, I have my Shark Cannon. Let's see if I can put my Widow Anchors and my Shizukus. We've had three more packs. Evenly matched. That's the one I was forgetting. Glad I have it now. Another Agito, the Ancient Sentinel. Therion Duke Yule. Ooh, Cat Shark. Cat Shark is quite adorable. And another Mobilizing Gauge. I can never have too much of this card. Konami, adjust that ban list, would you? Ice Dragon's Prison. There he is, Mudora the Sword Oracle. Sword Soul Blackout. Scapegoat. And a G Golem Token. All right, guys, last pack. At this point in the video, I want you guys to do one thing. Comment down below, timestamp this, and say what cards do you think are in this pack? Were you correct? Let me know. I'm hoping for at least one of the ailerons. At least one. Let's see. Iris Sword Soul. A Gravekeeper's Trap. I'm never going to say no, say no to that. Utunaful Princess. Ooh, it's coming down the last card. Chiranui Solitaire. And... Another Sword Soul Supreme Sovereign Chenying. To end it off. Well, there you go, guys. Simple as that. So let me know what you thought of my openings down in the comment section down below. Be sure to subscribe if you like this type of content. And I'll see you guys next year for more card openings when Photon Hypernova drops. Because that's the next time I'll be able to, you know, go into it. And that's the next set that is honestly the best one to me. Sure, you have the Battles of Legend coming up, with which has the new access, which has the access code talker coming back in Secret Rarity again. So maybe if you're missing access code, that'd be a card to acquire. I know I need it for uh, Sky Strikers. Technically, I do slash don't, but that's neither here nor there. And I probably will get at least one box, if not three, of the Dark World structure deck that's coming out. Because three common skill drain prints. I'm going for it, bro. I appreciate you for watching. Again, let me know what you pulled if you're chasing this. And what is your favorite card from this set? Did you pull a Pharaoh Rare? Let me know. Respect your fellow duelists, and have a nice day. So a little side note before I... End this video. When I pulled the Blast Held by Destiny, I did not 
take a look at the title of the card, you'll notice that in this shot here, after as I'm sleeving them all up, you'll notice that there is a line through Blast Held by Destiny, the top of the card text. That's interesting. That should not be there. So, honestly, this is a card I'm going to hold on to for a long time. I don't know if it would go up in price. I don't know what would happen to it, but I know that it's not... The printing of the lettering should not have a line straight through it. So I'm going to assume that's a misprint or damage print. Yeah, I thought it was pretty cool to bring it up. So carry on.